Welcome back everybody. This um, video is to demonstrate how I went about making all the necessary parts for the nickel iron cell. Right, so starting first with your nickel acetate. You start off with half vinegar and half distilled water in a tub of very, whatever size you want. You will need some pure nickel from eBay I put one on this side and one on that side and the negative and the positive to make the liquid. So you'll need to mix up your vinegar and your water into the dish, put your two electrodes in and electro start electroplating, nothing. So you need to form this liquid. Once the ions start traveling from one side to the other, you start getting a green tinge. You'll need a voltage source or a power source with adjustable voltage because without adding salt because I don't add salt to the liquid I find the salt contaminates your product you need to turn up the voltage just enough until you start seeing some bubbles and then it takes like maybe two to four to five hours or longer to get a nice colored liquid you want something like that color doesn't have to be too strong so once you've got that made you um i run two electrodes i put one this side and one that side both of those electrodes go to the positive power source of your device and the piece you want a nickel plate is on the negative side <clears throat> you will need alligator clips which are sacrificial because they can get contaminated because these are just little chrome plated ones see there's um, a bit of discoloring on there you need to chuck that away after that starts happening or your solution will get contaminated and your little cell your carbon felt will go black and it also goes black if you leave it in the liquid too long so that's so this is connected through here and then the negative is connected onto that positives are on the anodes which you want to plate to this carbon felt i have it on both sides so you can coat both sides simultaneously in nickel it takes about an hour to an hour and a half you don't really need to do too much the carbon felt itself is just welder's um, carbon felt. There's nothing special about it. It is conductive still. You want it to be pretty conductive. And I think most of it, I haven't had any issues with buying from different sellers the carbon felt. It's just general welder supply carbon pads, what they use to put things on to heat up and stuff. Um, I use these black bolts, coated black, but I am, um, wire brush all the stuff off so that's sort of a clear bolt and then I nickel plate them as well I use a bit of steel which you can use the um because the bolt needs something to screw into and also have little holes check the other video out for that so they're all nickel coated you can um cut your pvc down that's what I did with the plug at the bottom end is cut the pvc cut it in half using a heat gun, heat up the PVC and put it under a weight and flatten it out so it's a flat piece of PVC. And then you cut your little circle inserts out. You could do the same for making the thread bit as well because it doesn't have to be metal. I think the metal piece interferes a bit because if it's in the liquid, the amperage is high right around that area and doesn't flow all the way through the cell because the Nickel coated steel is way more conductive than the nickel coated felt. You need some 0.1 nickel wire to make those little um, nickel contacts that sit on top of those little round pads. And then with the tube, uh, 2.5 millimeter drill. I, I cut them so they fit in that container, which was about 110 millimeters. And then you just drill a heap of holes randomly all the way through the thing. Make some wider holes with some pins you can use to isolate it. Or you can glue the top in. And that's pretty...
pretty much how the cell was created. So the hardest part of this is don't get the stuff on your hands and breathe any fumes in. You go through a few plates. See this is, um, see the rust patch? That's from the alligator clips being um, contaminated. Where did that part over here? Yeah. See, so you see some of the iron leaked out because I left it in there too long overnight and then I didn't check. And it's mainly from that spring in there, which causes the contamination I find. The nickel won't plate to the chrome plating on the alligator clips. If you get copper ones, you won't have that problem, but they're expensive and hard to find most of the time. So I hope that sort of helps everybody with how to construct their nickel um, iron cells. Now here she is here. So my power supply over here, so I've got it on two volts today and it's 700 milliamps draw going through there because um, we're using 700 milliamps, 2.2 volts. Yesterday's run was three hours and 22 minutes and 222 milliwatt hours and 169 milliamp hours. And we're only at 14 charges now. It starts to improve after about 20 charges. It's like the forming charge of the cell. So hopefully that clears up um, a lot of the issues. I, I just presumed people would just look up how to make nickel um, plating solution when I made the video. And then I really didn't discuss that was the welder's carbon felt. Just looks like that, and it's um, four millimeters or five. I think it's five millimeters. Yeah, it doesn't really say, but these are sold on eBay. They're sort of A3 sheet size, and the difference is when contaminated or left too long is nice and clean coating dirty coating that probably still will work i'm not sure haven't tested it i'll test it because i'm going to make a little a small little one to test where i can add various different materials so i just the main videos were just about getting the whole idea of this set up through so people can make their own nickel iron battery I did discover that four layers of your little thing of the carbon felt stacked up is only like 1.2 ohms in resistance. So you could probably do four layers and then one of these little steel coil, um, nickel wire coils. Um, a steel tube coated with nickel would probably be best and then you wouldn't even need to put that in there. The little coil piece so hopefully that clears everything up for your nickel iron battery making and thanks for watching